are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about Brittany Griner here in this video. For the past year, guys, Brittany Griner has been the main focus of the WNBA. And it has nothing to do with it, what she's actually done on the court. It's about what she has done off the court because nobody cares about the WNBA when it comes to actual basketball on the court. Now, you guys know Brittany Griner spent 10 months in a Russian jail for bringing illegal substances into the country. And of course, you know, the leftist media over here, man, they were like, oh, BG is just wrongfully detained. No, she was rightfully detained. She pled guilty. She admitted to what she did. And then Joe Biden actually releases the merchant of death in an exchange. And Brittany Griner is back to playing in the WNBA. Now, guys, Brittany Griner has had like no impact whatsoever on the Phoenix Mercury. That team absolutely stinks. The team, I believe, is um six and 17 on the season. You guys know that coach actually got fired. That coach was virtue signaling, saying, why isn't L.A. selling out Crypto.com Arena for Brittany Griner? It's because it's the WNBA. The WNBA usually gets about half of the stadium full on a good day. I mean, nobody actually cares about Brittany Griner. Remember, that was actually a road game. It wasn't a home game. It was a road game. But I guess the former coach of the Mercury was just so concerned about the virtue signaling, she forgot to actually coach the team. The team stinks, even with Brittany Griner. Well, guys, I'm pretty sure you guys are actually going to miss Brittany Griner because you will not see her for at least the next two games because Brittany Griner, she will not be playing, guys. Check this out. This is what the uh, Phoenix Mercury actually tweeted out here. Check this out. They tweeted out. Mercury Center Brittany Griner will not travel with the team on its upcoming two game road trip to Chicago and in Indiana, which is uh, starting today and the first to focus on her mental health. The Mercury fully support Brittany and we will continue to work together on a timeline for her return. So, guys, she could actually be out longer than two games. Yeah, she could be out. Longer than two games. They didn't say just for two games. They're talking about working on a timeline for her her to return. I mean, th th this is funny, man. This is really, really funny. Now, what kind of mental health is she actually going through? I don't know. I don't know. She didn't do a whole bunch of time in Russia. And she's been out of Russia for the better part of uh, what? Uh, seven months now. Seven months. She's been back. She's been playing. And yet she won't actually be there for a team. But you know what? It probably really doesn't even matter because, like I said, guys, look at the standings here. This is your WNBA standings. And the Phoenix Mercury are in tent, in tent place right now with a 6 and 17 record, a 26 percent winning percentage. The only teams that are worse are Indiana and Seattle. And I do believe they actually said that one of the teams is actually uh, Indiana who they're actually going to be playing. Yeah. Brittany Griner, not going to be there. I mean, I've already said, it, guys, you know, when it comes to modern day athletes anyway, they're a whole lot softer than players from the past. You would never actually see a professional athlete from the past talking about, oh, I need a mental health break. But we have seen, man, even going back to a um, few years ago where these athletes have taken taken a mental health breaks. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was um, Naomi Osaka. You know, she couldn't handle the pressure from the media. She said she was stepping away. But what she was really doing was um, actually doing photo shoots. Didn't seem like a mental health break. And um, Naomi Osaka really has not been the same since then. She hasn't. But um, that brings us also now to Alex Stein, because, guys, you got to remember, it was Alex Stein who was actually doing the job of the mainstream media in a Dallas airport asking Brittany Griner 
questions that the mainstream media should have been asking. And of course, you know, the mainstream media, they freaked out and they uh, started um, attacking uh, Alice Stein saying, oh, uh, he was bullying uh, Brittany Griner. Hey, the media is supposed to ask hard questions. You don't. And he did. And he has now come out. He is trolling Brittany Griner. Look here. He actually says, I think I broke Brittany Griner right there on Twitter because he's um showing um, a picture of, um I guess this is uh, People magazine. They're talking about um, Brittany Griner actually taking time off to focus on mental health. I mean, you're supposed to be doing your job out there on the basketball court. And Brittany Griner is averaging something like um 18 points a game or something like that. I believe she said she was surprised by her play on the court. Yeah, but you had no impact. None. Your team stinks. Your coach got fired. You've had zero impact. And right now, I guess, you know, I don't know how many games left in the WNBA season. What is it? They played. Um, they played something like uh, 23 games so far. So they're about halfway through their season, I guess, right there. And um, Brittany Grimes is like, nah, I need a break. I need a break. You know what? Instead of actually playing in the WNBA All-Star game, you know, doing that All-Star weekend or however they actually working in the WNBA, she actually could have been taking time off then. You know, she didn't have to play in the All-Star game. But when the games actually matter, she's not going to play. I mean, the Mercury, they've thrown in the towel. There's no doubt about it. They have thrown in the towel on this season. They know that this team stinks. They stink. No other way to put it, man. No other way to put it. But you know what? The mainstream media is not going to come out and say, hey, why isn't Brittany Griner actually playing and doing a job? You will never see any athletes back in the day taking these mental health breaks. I mean, what's wrong? What's going on? Is something wrong with the water? Is something wrong with the food? Because if you're going to be a world class athlete, you need to be mentally strong. And these athletes today, not mentally strong. Now, if she was actually injured, you know, that'd be another thing. But she's not injured. She's still playing. I don't know if she's actually missed any games due to injury this this year or not. I don't know. Like I said, nobody watches the dummy NBA. They don't. But I find this interesting, guys, that all of a sudden now she needs a mental health break. Yeah. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.